it turns out that when uh, we started to look at the output of dopamine transporter imaging abnormalities, that scan abnormalities, that there was a large group of people who were thought to have functional tremor, but had an abnormal DAT scan. And we couldn't entirely explain that on the basis of an inaccurate diagnostic process by clinicians because those numbers were up to 50%. 50% of patients that were thought to have functional tremor or other forms of uh, functional disorders had an abnormal DAT scan. And it turns out that we've now realized that there is a subtype of Parkinson's disease in which a prodrome is a functional disorder, particularly functional tremor. And it occurs usually as a tremor, as a functional tremor, in the side that ultimately will go on to develop manifestations that we now consider classical for Parkinson's disease. So this is uh, a very interesting problem that we now have uh, in clinical medicine because we used to think that here is how you make the diagnosis of a functional disorder and it's important to do so because it's uh, critical to distinguish it from other neurological disorders, what we call organic disorders too. But it turns out that there is a lot of uh, an overlap here. And uh, that means that uh, in patients that we now, for instance, see who come to us and meet criteria for functional tremor, but have a family history of Parkinson's, for instance, we might consider doing a DAT scan because they may in fact be in a position to develop uh, functional, uh, uh, to develop uh, Parkinson's disease. Now, it turns out that another prodrome to Parkinson's is bipolar spectrum disorder. And what we've looked, and this is uh, really largely from the leadership of uh, uh, Marco Onofri in Italy, uh, looked at patients who had a diagnosis of bipolar spectrum disorder were followed long term, and it turns out a large number of them have functional manifestations, functional neurological disorder, or what's called somatic symptom disorder. Those patients have a disproportionately larger tendency for evolving into form of Parkinson's that's rather malignant. There is uh, dementia, there is uh, uh, falls, there is rapid progression, poor response to levodopa uh, and earlier mortality. So the interesting thing is that it's now led us into another window into a subtype of Parkinson's that begins with manifestations that are uh, psychiatric in nature or that are functional neurological disorder or that is in the spectrum of bipolar uh, disorder that would lead us to think that people are at risk of developing this particularly more serious form of, of Parkinson's. So the field is becoming a bit more complicated because again we are having difficulty dissociating these syndromes and it turns out that there is an overlap. Interestingly, once patients develop Parkinson's disease, the functional manifestations go away. They seem to be masked by the development of the neurological symptoms that now we call Parkinson's or Parkinson's disease dementia or dementia with Lewy bodies.